Hey everybody, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your busy day running your agency to join me, Joseph Puckett from Craig Wiggins Coaching, along with my very special guest, Andrew from Smart Financial. Andrew has got a wonderful presentation on how you and your agency can win with leads. He's going to go over contact strategies, example scripts, how to overcome some of the most common objections. This is a jam-packed webinar. I hope you're ready to take a lot of notes and learn from my great friend, Andrew from Smart Financial. Now, for those of you that stick around to the end, you're also going to get invited to take, take advantage of an offer. Andrew just showed it to me. It's a fantastic offer. So stick around for 20, 30 minutes or so. We'll get to that. And then we will have time for Q&A. Speaking of which, everybody's been chatting in the chats. That's great. But if you have specific questions you would like me to ask Andrew, please use the Q&A function. So if you're looking at your Zoom window right now, the very, very bottom little, little mini bar, see the Q&A chat bubbles? Click that, submit questions that way. It's just easier for me to moderate questions from that. But thank you, Andrew Rasson from Smart Financial. You're a great partner for Craig Wiggins Coaching. I'm so glad that you're donating this time today to share all this powerful information. Andrew, take it away. Thank you so much, Joseph. I uh, appreciate you having me. I, I've been um, attending you know, your conferences as a, as a partner for quite some time now. And you know, I luckily sometimes get to listen in on some nuggets when you guys are speaking. And I mean, the, the agents that attend that are, are so lucky to be able to get that, that experience from you guys. So um, awesome to be partners with you guys. To give, give the agents on the call here a little bit of insight on who I am. Uh, I am the director of strategic accounts here with Smart Financial. I've been with the company for about six plus years, and I, I've got a whole lot of knowledge about what, what works for agents when it comes to working with leads, what steps, what ingredients, you know, and, and really it, it falls back on extreme follow-up when it comes to leads, right? Follow-up is so important. So quickness to draw and persistence. But, but what I've been able to do is gather a lot of this information from our existing clients, from our research, to be able to say, hey, this is what works, statistically speaking. So let me go ahead and show you guys. First, I'm going to run through some of the best practices. I like to call them smart practices the smart financial. Um, and then I'm going to go through, as Joseph mentioned, and really offer one of the best rates that we've ever been able to offer for our traditional uh, real-time leads. So it's definitely stick around. Um, but let's go over the ingredients for success. Obviously, you know, it should be obvious, but a CRM is super important. Um, our salespeople at Smart Financial, we're dialing about 150 to 250 dials per day with at least three hours of talk time. Andrew, I don't want to interrupt. Sure. Have you advanced to the next slide? Oh, yes, I have. Is that not? Uh, I'm still just seeing your cover slide. So we might need to change your view. Let's change the view here. Um, Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, Okay. because it's a great presentation. I knew you were talking about your next slide. Um, let's <laughs> thanks try for, it. Thanks for jumping in there. How does this look? Yes, we're the next good slide? now. Okay. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you for that. So, as I was mentioning, our, our salespeople were dialing hundreds of dials per day, and it's made easy because of, of the predictive auto dialer that we're using. We're, we're using a, a system called Close IO, but I mean, I was in sales for years, so I know that it was made easy. I mean, we, we were able to call through these leads um, extremely efficiently, and, and that's, that's the point is that, you know, we're, we're really ensuring that we can get you high intent data to work in, in, your, in your CRM, but you got you to gotta make sure that you understand that you know, they're not all going to close on the first call. The follow-up is so important. And if you're going to have hundreds of leads, even sometimes thousands of leads to follow up with, you got to do it in an easy fashion. So a CRM is super important. You got to have a strong attentive producer who can quickly attend to the leads and handle objections. If you guys are having trouble finding a producer, you know, we, we've been able to partner with a lot of affiliate partners that are, that are hiring services that have done a really good job at hiring for you guys. So we can, if, you know, if you guys are working with us, you can get in touch with our, one of our account managers. I know the, the Craig Wiggins organization also has a lot of partners that can help you hire, but having a strong producer is so key in having a strong follow-up process. But, you know, engaging with the marketing campaign is one of the most important things. I can't tell you how many agents I speak to that aren't really tracking their cost per acquisition or their cost per quote and running through these analytics and reviewing the account as much as they should. That is a key part of, of 
you know, really managing this, this campaign. And, and that's, that's how you're going to know that you're profiting from it. Right. So let's, let's look at some stats as to why, you know, quickness to the draw and persistence is so important when it comes to working with leads. So let's, let's take a look at these buyers who call within five minutes, increase their chances of reaching the customer by 500%. 78% of leads close with the company that contacted them first. You got to be quick to the draw. The odds of contacting a lead if called within five minutes versus 30 minutes drops a hundred times. Like this is huge guys. We got to be calling as soon as the lead comes in within five minutes and the odds of actually qualifying a lead if it's five minutes versus 30 minutes drops 21 times. So these, these are stats. These are real stats from our own research. Here's some fun ones about the importance of following up. 5% of your leads are going to convert right away. Only 5% would convert on, you know, within that first uh, initial call or that first week. 95%, they need time to mature. You need to be working these through your, your, your pipeline. These are opportunities. 40% of your leads will buy eventually. If you're continuously working through this data and you're, you know, you're using a CRM, you have a strong producer, you will be able to contact these leads with persistence. Making two calls versus just one increases your contact by 87%. Can't tell you how many agents, again, get a lead. They call it once. They didn't have traction. They don't call it again. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys on this call aren't uh, those offenders, but you know that's, that's really a no-no when it comes to working with leads. So always be persistent when it comes to calling. And I actually laid out exactly what we coach our agents on when it comes to the follow-up method. So it's called the 3333 method. On the first day of getting this lead, you should be calling that lead three times a day. After that, for the next three days, call that lead twice a day. And then at, for the next three weeks, call it once a day. Lastly, th th for, the, for the next three months after that third week, call the lead once every three days. And after three months, continue to attempt contact with the lead periodically. Again, this is your drip campaign. You're going to have coverage on all of these leads. And I know you don't want to hear this, but sometimes it can extend for years. Some people on our sales floor are closing leads that we've imported into our system from two, three years ago. So keeping it in your pipeline, working through these as opportunities for the producers for the lifetime of, of your agency is, is what the best practice needs to be, right? So some tips too is, you can try calling at different times, you know, try calling at different times. Instead of calling and asking for John Smith, Call and ask if this is the owner of the 2018 silver Toyota Corolla. You're showing them that you know their story, that you already have credibility, you have their information. Again, I mean, our best agents are building up a pipeline full of this consumer data that we've generated for them in a TCPA compliance and go through these in a sales cycle. And, you know, similarly, similarly to what our sales team is doing, calling two, 300 leads per day. You know, that's, that, is, that is what our best agents are doing. Here's a follow-up process when it comes to texting and emailing. So for the first five days, you're gonna text and you're gonna email every day. It's gonna vary, the content can vary on a daily basis, first day, you know, X amount of content, next day, next day, next day. And then after day five, on day seven, you're gonna email and text. On day 14, you're gonna email and text. And then on day 30, you're gonna email and text. Again, switching through your, your, your content. And then after that, once every 30 days, you're gonna be emailing or you're texting. So after, after, um, after, after the, actually, I'm sorry, you're not going to be texting after 30 days. You're just going to be emailing moving forward. So email only after that 30 days, but remember 40% of your leads will buy eventually. That's why this is so important when it comes to working this lead is, um, is you gotta, you gotta stay persistent. Knowing that 40% are gonna, are gonna close means you just gotta stay on top of these guys. And, and through these practices, we know that we've been able to have a high contact and a high quote and it leads to conversion rate, right? And Drew, allow me to chime in just real sure. quick before you get to the objections, because I feel like I need to say something about compliance. Uh, sure. many, many of us with different carriers, some of your carriers are way pickier on who you can text or not text. Um, just y'all, I just had to say this, make sure you're being compliant. Andrew, when someone is requesting a lead from one of your proprietary sites, y'all, they generate their own leads. He's going to show you the short list. It's not a short list, a long list of sites that they generate leads from. Are they saying that they consent to digital communications, consent to phone calls? Like they're opting in to be contacted, correct? Correct. Yeah. So I'm glad you brought that up because anyone that's coming to our site, they're allowing everything within your local laws to, to, for contact, TCPA, DNC, you know, you can call them, text them, email them. 
usually as many times as you want. So I'm not, I'm not familiar with, you know, some of the other carriers, but I know that most carriers, if the person opts in to receiving a, a text, an email, or a call from an agent, a contact from an agent, then I don't think there is a number amount of time that they're limited to. So, um, I but but to Joseph's yeah, point, definitely look into know your, your own carriers' rules because there's one that's yeah. really big that's blue that is very very strict, very very strict on what they will or will not allow. Um, so I just had to mention that. Would you mind going back to your second slide real sure. quick? Tom, my friend Tom had said you went through that slide, that this one right here, this one right here, oh. the, the second one. Yeah, sorry, the third slide. So 500% buyers would call within five minutes, increase the chance of reaching the customer by 500%. 70% of leads close with the company that contacted them first. A hundred times, the odds of contacting a lead to call within five minutes for 30 minutes drops a hundred times. So Tom, that was going to the speed to contact, right? Speed contact slide. So hopefully y'all got this. And as an FYI, we are recording this uh, for playback for y'all as well. All right, we cover compliance. Let's keep going. Sweet. All right. Head on back. So now let's handle some objections. And these are some of the most common objections that <laughs> you guys are going to see all the time. And it's funny because even though we're doing our best to generate a high, high intent lead from our own proprietary processes, you're still going to get people that say, I never requested a quote. I'm not interested. Here are some good examples as to what our successful agents are saying to that. A lot of agents, they just give up and move on and try to request a credit for the lead and then just forget about it. Now that's gonna kind of hold you back from maximizing your opportunity with these leads. So for an example, you know, I didn't expect you to be interested, Mr. Joe Schmo. You don't know anything about this yet, but like me and everyone else, I do know that you're interested in saving money and having good coverage and that's why I'm calling. So if I was able to show you how you can save some money and increase your coverage with us, wouldn't you be happy that you took a few minutes to find out how Another example, Mr. Joe Schmo, you probably get these calls all the time, don't you? I get them too. And believe me, I don't like getting them any more than you do. But every now and then I listen because sometimes there's information that can really benefit me. And this is that call for you. So let me ask you a question. If I was able to improve your coverage and save you money with our products and services, wouldn't you want to take a listen? Another example. And this is, this is uh, more of the, I guess, a little bit less of an aggressive way to handle this, but it's a, it's a consultative way. It's saying that's perfectly okay. I'm not calling to sell you anything today. Instead, I just want to give you a resource so that next time you do need this, you'll know who to call. You'll know who to check in with. And, and do you mind if I actually follow up with you periodically to make sure that you're, you're getting the right service from your, your carrier? You know, stuff like that to be able to ensure like you're not giving up on them. You're still a consultant. And Again, 40% of these leads are going to convert eventually. So someone who's not interested right now, they may become interested in the future. Don't give up on them. Yeah, allow me to chime in on that sure. real quick. Um, you know, y'all, a lot of times when they say, I didn't request quotes, they're lying, right? See, what they didn't realize was that they were going to be being reached out to by three or four different agencies, right? Multiple different agencies. Do not just give up on them. What do we teach at CWC? A no today is not a no forever. It's just not right now. So I like his nice kind of roundabout way of wanting to be a resource for you and this and that. I understand you weren't, you might not have been shopping today. Let me give you some helpful information just in case you are interested in the future. I'd be happy to help. And what he also said was leave the door open for future follow-up right? Leave the door open for future follow-up, but just keep that in mind. You're going to have some prospects who say, well, what you talking about with us? I didn't request no quotes, right? <laughs> because they're tired of the phone calls and emails and, and whatever. Y'all keep in mind, going back to the three, 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 right? Following up and then nurturing them for months, nurturing them for years. You're going to close way more leads in the second to 12th month than you do the first month. Way yeah. more leads in months 13 to 36 if they're properly nurtured. And guess what? Most other agencies buying these leads are too lazy to have that long of a life cycle. You're going to outwork them. You're going to out hustle them. And that's going to dramatically increase your return on investment for leads. Old leads are gold leads. I love old leads. All right. Such a great point. Keep rolling. Awesome. So here's, a, here's one that you guys are going to get probably very often, right? Your quote's too high because most of the agents here are captive. And captive agents, they're more of a quality value product rather than you know, maybe a Geico or a progressive. I apologize for any Geico's or progressives on the call. I know you guys have a great product, but there, you know, there's, there's most likely a big difference when it comes to the actual coverage that's being offered because it, there's, there, it's, it's more expensive for a reason. 
their added value comes with a higher price tag every single time. So, so let's take a look at this first one. Your quote is too high. Compared to what? If your buyer thinks that you're overpriced compared to the competitors, do an apples to apples. Line up the quotes next to each other. See what, what exactly um, the, the comparison is. And then you can go in and, and reveal the differences. So you can go and identify. Here's the reason why we're a little bit more expensive. You're getting X amount of coverage. So the second one here is to talk about the value. It's to say, listen, it's not our objective to be the cheapest product in the market. We're growing every year at Allstate or Farmers because we're successful, because we deliver the best value, not the, uh, um, I'm sorry, we're growing every year and we're successful because we're delivering the best value, not the best price. That one hits home. You know, we're, we're not in business. We're not successful. We're not growing every year because we're, deliver because we're delivering the best price. You know, it is the best value. So reassure them, you know, it, it's, it's coming with an extra price tag right? Your quote's too high. Sometimes there's things you can do about that on, on the agent side. I mean, you guys can work with, with someone removing coverage here and there. So a good line is if your price, if price is your main buying criteria, let's cut out some of the options from the quote. What are, what options are most important to you? And then you can kind of go in, target which, which options would be the best for them with their rates. I know you guys have different options to work with. Don't give up on them. Right. That's that's a key one. But I think my favorite out of your quotes is too high is this rebuttal number two, really ensuring that, you know, you guys you guys didn't get where you are because you had a cheap product. I think that's that's really, really important. It sits with with the customers um, that are receiving that that on the, on the on the other end. So that that's it for the training and, and the um, objection handling. Was there was there any maybe we can cover some questions about the training part of this, Joe? Yeah, so guys, feel free to send a Q&A, send a Q&A if you'd like to ask a question. I already have at least one lined up. To hit on this just for a moment before we go, get through some questions, then you can present you know, your special offer for those watching. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are members of Craig Wiggins Coaching, you know that we teach you and your staff how to position coverage as far more important than price are very exclusive, you know, not exclusive, our very fine-tuned CWC sales process teaches y'all to do that. Here's something else that we've been teaching people to say. When somebody says, you know, I just want to save money, I'd say, Andrew, we're on the same page. We're on the same page, Andrew. It is rare, dude. It is really, really rare that I can't find where I can save my customers literally thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes even more if they ever need their insurance. So I'm really glad that you want to <laughs> save money because, man, I'm going to make sure you have the right coverages. So that we, you do not have to come out of pocket, right? Worse, in a worse situation. So let's dive into this, Andrew. We're, we're rolling. Somebody just said, Arthur, pulling levers. Pulling levers are things that we can tweak. Y'all, what's mm -hmm. going to make an impact on this family? What's going to make an impact on the family if, God forbid, a terrible accident happens? Them having a little bit higher collision deductible to come out of pocket before we fix or replace their car? But affording the extra hundred thousand dollars of liability, the extra two hundred fifty thousand dollars liability, whatever it is we're we're going to be able to do for them, what's going to impact that family more? Y'all, let's recommend more appropriate deductibles. Leverage your telematics programs like DriveWise or apps that that can give the rebates. Leverage full pay discount. Leverage all the things that you can do. Pull all of those levers to get the price as low as possible, but do not sacrifice on the coverage because nobody on this call is with a low cost provider. Nobody, nobody watching this call is with a low cost provider. You have to just sell what actually matters, coverage, mm -hmm. coverage. That's what actually matters and that's what's gonna help you. Um, okay, so let's see here, Jim. Jim asked a question. He said, sometimes we open up for leads about 9 a.m. but we get our daily quota pretty quick. Is there mm -hmm. a way to spread those out throughout the day? He said sometimes within five minutes, they're, they're full for the day. I assume gotcha. that, that you guys are kind of strategically placing leads around. What would you mm -hmm. say to Jim? He might already be a member, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, Jim. Um, we can definitely do a <laughs> concurrency cap with you. So um, I, it sounds like you are a client. So if, if I could ask you to speak with your account manager, they can set something up to where your leads are distributed a little bit um, separate right? Because we don't want you to have to have five leads come in and not attend to them. Um, so I understand where you're coming from, especially with all the, the, the practices that we're describing to you. So if that's the case and you don't have producers that can quickly attend to them at that same time, then I would suggest distributing them uh, throughout the day and doing something what's called a concurrency cap. 
So I'm going to actually put that in the chat here so that you can ask your account manager about a concurrency cap. Thank you for that question. Absolutely. So let's dive in. Tell us more about what you're able to do for our agents. Definitely. And before I do, I wanted to touch on one last thing that was piggybacking off your point about um, really selling on coverage is if you know that you are going to be saving this person money in the long run when they get into an accident or when something happens to them and your coverage is good, the client can see it in your conviction. They can hear it in your conviction. Conviction is something that it's hard, it's hard to teach it, but it's something that is, is the biggest proponent towards getting someone on your side or selling them is if you believe that the coverage that you offer is going to help this person in the long run and that they'd be making a big mistake by getting cheap coverage on the, on the forefront just to be able to have this initial cost below, but not really thinking about how that coverage is going to apply to them. If you truly believe that, the client is going to know it and they're going to buy into that and they're going to feel the same way. And I can't stress that enough. Um, so let's move on to a little bit about Smart Financial. So we have been around for almost 10 years now. We were founded by an Allstate agent as well. I know there's a lot of Allstate agents on this call. Um, his, name, his name is Lev Berinsky. Dealt with a lot of similar issues that you guys probably had with maybe poor, poor quality leads, right? And that's because he was working with aggregators. Aggregators are companies that get leads and buy leads from all these different avenues and resell them. So what he started doing was generating his own leads from his own operated site, smartfinancial.com. He ended up doing really well with it, expanded, sold his, his book of business. Now we've got about 65 plus owned and operated consumer brands that our consumers are finding after a Google search or Yahoo or Bing. We're spending about $186 million a year on marketing our own landing pages, which I'll show you here in just a second. And that's equating to about 550 quote requests per month, just from our own proprietary process, which is very rare in this industry. We touched on a little bit about the TCPA, DNC, so you don't have to worry about that. It's all compliant within your local laws. And the overall mission is to make sure that you have a low cost per policy and a high return on the investment. So what you're spending needs to be less than what you're making on the policy. And, and we've been able to track that through the cost per acquisition. So cost per acquisition, cost per quote, reviewing, going over dispositions on your leads. This is how we're able to see this return on the investment and really show the agent, show you that you're successful on this program. So we've been able to keep the cost per acquisition as low as possible because these are our owned operated websites. So jo Joseph touched on this in the beginning of the call, but this is where we're driving our consumers. I mentioned 186 million is going towards keyword combination purchases, paid search, Google ads. That's where you're going to get the highest intent consumer. We're not going to offer any gift cards or points or incentives for this consumer to find us and fill out the form. It's their own interest that's driving them to do this. So once they submit the form, it's going to go to your email, your text, you know, your lead manager or your Apex if you're farmers or any other CRM that you're most likely using. Some agents like to use Ricochet or Quote Burst. We can shake hands and integrate with any of those systems and you're going to get that lead real time. And you're, you're going to know exactly what to do with that lead because of this, this, this process that I've introduced to you before this segment of, of the presentation. Um, but really, the, the biggest value in, in what we do at Smart Financial is that we generate our own leads through our own proprietary process. So we're, we're, we're timing how long the person's spending on this website. They have to spend between six to eight minutes filling out the form. We're verifying the email and the phone number with real, real validation and X verify. A lot of things that the, the, our competitors aren't doing, we're doing. So agents on our platform are seeing a lot better quality of, of the service, but they're also seeing enhanced uh, account management and service with the fact that we do our client account reviews, which we call a CAR, a client account review, week over week, bi-weekly, we're going to run through these numbers. We're going to make sure that you're following up persistently and properly, and we're going to make it our duty to have you successful. So... Enough about that. Let's talk about the fun pricing. <laughs> so we have worked out some really, really special rates for you guys, a part of the Craig Wiggins community. Um, so the, the retail price here, you can see it on the left. The bold pricing is the special discount that we worked out for you guys. 
you can see that the filters are going to vary. The most popular product that we see is going to be this product, uh, the auto lead with the no major violations, current insurance and a homeowner filter. We've got a 54% discount for Craig Wiggins uh, uh, community agents. So it's, it's, it's definitely a big discount. We're going to do something even additional for you guys. So we know with, with, lead services like ours too, you have the ability to get credits where maybe someone you know was outside the territory. Maybe they were already insured with Allstate or Farmers or something along those lines. It happens X amount of time. So we're able to get you X amount of credits. What we're gonna do for you guys only, we're gonna knock off 50% off of these bold pricings. We're not gonna do any credits because we're gonna, essentially we baked it into the price point, but we're gonna remove the ability to get credits do between $4.50 to $6. And that's gonna be your price point for these leads from agents on this call. So only $4.50 to $6 for all of our high intent leads generated from our proprietary process, just to make sure that we get coverage from, from a lot of agents within Craig Wiggins community that we, that we you know, continue our partnership by showing you know, Joseph and Craig that we care about you guys and we care about their business and we want to ensure that you guys are going to have the best possible experience on our platform with the lowest cost per acquisition, right? So, so that's what we're going to do for you guys. We don't have a contract. We don't have a long-term agreement. It's really easy just to give it a test run. Um, so you can definitely reach out to me with more information on that. I'll guide you in the right direction, but this is the best possible. This is the best rate we've ever offered to anybody. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I know everybody on this call who's ever been pitched by smart financial is probably going nuts. <laughs> um, so yeah, if, if there's any questions about that, I'd be happy to, to answer that. Absolutely. So you have several people interested in the chat. Um, is there, do you require a minimum? Like are you asking for five a day, 10 a day? Is there any minimum? For you know, these, for these pricings? we have recommendations. We have recommendations. And, and, and I'm sorry, the recommendations are there because we know what it takes to be successful. But we could stick to your budget. We could stick to your manageability. There is no limit. There is no maximum cap or lim minimum cap that you have to take to take advantage of these price points. Um, just to let you guys know that you, you will start with uh, at least $1,000 to get started, which is just about 200 leads. If you're going to get, let's say the average price is $5 with our special discount, you're going to get about 200 leads. That's a fair shot for you to give this a sample size. So that's what we would ask for you guys. But after that thousand, you're not required to keep spending. We're intending on showing you the value within that thousand dollars and you continuing on based on your accord. Right. All right. And y'all volume is important. You know, we're, we manage a lot of Facebook groups, right? Transform your agency, Craven's coaching agency, owners and staff group. And sometimes people say, you know, I tried out a lead vendor and I didn't like them. They didn't work for me. Y'all don't need to use them. And they bought like 50 leads, right? That's just not enough, right? Volume is important. And remember, remember the value of the long-term lead, three months, six months, 12 months, what do you say? 40%, right? The 40% of leads end yep. up buying, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure that you and your staff are nurturing them long-term. Um, totally. Monica said, I was working with um, another sales rep who was, you know, following up with me. Can I get the same deal? Like you manage the sales reps, right? So like she just needs to I say, do. hey, I was on Andrew's yeah. call. I need if to see you're mentioning, deal. If you're mentioning the CWC deal, our sales, our sales staff is trained on that. Okay. So the so Craig Monica Wiggins deal, that. CWC. Yep. Okay, perfect. What if John asked, he's already using you guys. Could he mm -hmm. maybe get some special? We will transfer you over to this rate. Mm -hmm. All right, John, you need to reach out to your, your rep there and say, hey, I want the CWC thing. Uh, Steven said, I'm in on that. Tom Burke says, I want 50 leads a day. All right, There Tom. we go. Easy he's, enough. He's serious. And I love Tom. He, he runs an awesome operation. Um, let's see here. Do y'all do live transfers? We do. Yeah. So live transfers is a big part of our business. Um, we actually own it. So it comes, it, 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 it's the same theory of owned and operated. So we have our own and operated call center in California where all of our call transfers are created. And at this point, super exciting. We're offering a warm transfer, Joseph. So now we're going to have these call center reps hand off the, the consumer so that there's no drop calls, there's no confusion. We've eliminated that completely. So we're doing our absolute highest best at, at generating these calls for you guys. And is that something they'll just need to work on with individual reps? They reach out to y'all and say, hey, I'm also interested in life transfers. 
Correct. Yeah. And, and every sales rep is trained on that as well. We don't have a, um, a special rate for the Craig Wiggins community, unfortunately. And I'll tell you why. It's because it, it works on a demand. It works on a bidding structure. So agents are going to pay for it, what they feel fit. And it's going to go to the first person that, you know, first come first serve when it comes to those price points. Right. And y'all are compliant with all state, right? Y'all are on all states. Of we are approved. approved lists. That's yes. right. Okay, very important. And now farmers, friends, state farm friends, independent. I just had to ask because um, y'all, your, your carry is not as strict as some other carriers. Mm -hmm. um, are these exclusive leads? Glenn asked. No, the data leads are not. What do you are you selling them to? Twenty agencies, ten agencies, four agencies, two two other agencies at a maximum. So three total? So three total only for these price points. You're going to pay like $4.50 for a lead that's going to only two other agents. And guess what? You'll be the only um, person from your company, Allstate, Farmer, State Farm. If, if, you're, if you're a captive agent, we're going to list that and we're not going to send it to any of that same carrier. So uh, Mary said that I also want to get another agent involved on this as well. I was on the phone and four agents called her while I was quoting her. I'm not sure what you're asking me there, Mary, but re, you're, if you wanted to refer someone else, you know, they're in the CWC network, they're your, your network, they're, they work with us, A. Rasson at smartfinancial.com. Am I pronouncing Rasson correctly? You are. I appreciate okay. that. That is such a great <laughs> name. I want to make sure I'm so <laughs> A. You. Rasson at smartfinancial.com. He'll make sure that he forwards it to one of his team members and they hook y'all up with the uh, CWC deal. Has the way that you obtain leads changed, Denise asked. Um, I don't know compared to what or when, but he showed a screenshot. How many websites do you have? Like dozens? 60, 65, yeah. 65 websites that you guys are doing to generate these high intent leads. Y'all just remember when somebody says, what do you mean? I wasn't filling out for, oh, really? So I know all of your cards and everything, right? <laughs> if somebody says, I, I wasn't shopping, a lot of times they just have buyer's regret. For example, anybody ever gone on Credit Karma and be like, hey, I want to look at refinancing my car loan. I did that a few weeks ago. I did that because I was like, you know, rates are about to start going up. I have a decent rate. But I was like, ask Credit Karma. Oh my God, they won't stop calling me. They won't stop emailing. <laughs> and I've lied a little. I've opted out from all these emails. It just is what it is. It is what it is. This is a high volume play. This is a high volume play. Don't expect every single lead to be like, yeah, I want to quote right? You're going to get objections. And Andrew gave you guys some great things to go over on objections. CWC, Craig Wiggins training. We have entire courses on how to overcome objections. Mary, love Joseph. He's the best. Oh, Mary. <laughs> um, George, here. George Johnson asked, how long does this yes. price last? It's going to last for the lifetime of your account. So when you sign wow. up for this, it's going to last forever. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Emmanuel, can we customize how many leads we receive and when we receive leads? Is there like a start time? Mm -hmm. like, like maybe an agency wants to start getting leads at 10 a.m. Central yeah. or like, how does that work? Yeah, yeah. So what we do for you guys is we have 25 hours laid out throughout the week that you can pick and choose when you want your leads to come in. So you get to choose when you want your leads to come in. You get to choose where they come from. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, where they come into and, um, and you get to choose your filters, profiles, the target area, you know, you can give us a list of zip codes and we'll go in and target those zip codes only. So we can do that for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, are there any other questions for Ryan? Now, Ryan, I did have somebody ask earlier to go back to the second and third slides again, since sure. we have time. And y'all, this recording will be, I'll post it on our YouTube channel. For CDBC members, I'll post it in the 2022 live trainings course. Um, so if y'all want to take a quick screenshot of this, I forget, but somebody chatted earlier, sent a Q&A if, if we could do this. So just for a few seconds on this slide, then maybe slip to the next slide. Um, let's see here. Oh, Emmanuel, I like what you're saying saying I need to allow time for my team to do CDBC training first thing in the morning. Very wise, very, very wise man. Y'all don't just throw money at leads and marketing without training your staff how to work them and how to close them, right? So Emmanuel, what a wonderful tip. I want to make sure I don't start my leads early because my team needs to do training first. Good. Uh, where do we sign up? All right, Michael, oh, excuse me, uh, Andrew, go back to the last slide again. <laughs> so his email I address just is just posted it in the chat. Oh, good, good. Yeah, there just go. so people could see these stats here. I think someone was asking about the second or third stats, so we can look at these. Let's go to the next one here. Oops. Here we go. 
So we got our sources down here too, if you guys want to check them out. It's going to be, the, the presentation is going to be recorded so you guys can research these, these white papers when you get a chance. Really, really good information there. Awesome, good stuff. What else? Is there any other questions? Why don't Anything I show you guys be? one of our um, most high intent pages here, smartfinance.com. Oh yeah, let's see an example. Yeah. So this is, I mean, we're pumping money into this guy. So people are going to come here, all states down here. Um, they're going to go ahead and click on auto most, most of the time. And they're going to go through this process of filling out this questionnaire. They're not going to get pop-ups. They're not going to get a special rate pop-up or, you know, all these different, different things that can skew their interest. They, when someone comes here, you know, they know that it's all about insurance, right? All about insurance. We've got some content down here for them to take a look at, but we're not tricking them into this. This is the most important thing is they're finding this after a Google search because we're spending $186 million this year. We're probably going to end up spending a lot more next year, but this year, $186 million is going towards marketing pages like this. Let me show you guys insurance.io. This is another big one that we operate. Love this one. And they can call directly into our call center here. And then lastly, let's take a look at United statesinsurance.com. Find affordable insurance the easy way. So we've got some really great pages. This is our bread and butter. This is what makes us different. This is really why you guys have had success with our leads. Not just that, but obviously the service that we're providing to you guys um, on the back end with our account management team. I know the agents that are here that are you know, uh, uh, clients of ours can most likely attest to you know, the kind of service that we're bringing to the table when it comes to the account management, the coaching, the consulting, that pre this presentation um, that I initiated our call with, uh, the half about training, we're actually presenting that week over week for our new clients. We're, we're sharing the recordings with you. We're asking you to have your producers on the call. It's like an extension of what Craig Wiggins is doing. It's a lot less detailed and a lot less um, <laughs> probably, uh, you know, it's not as good as Craig Wiggins and, and what Joe are doing, but at the same time, it's just reinforcement because they're saying similar stuff. It's just for us to be able to say, are you practicing? Continue to practice, please. Right. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much, pretty much all the, the content that I have for you guys today. I'm going to go back to my, my pricing slide. So you guys can see the pricing again. Remember, if you guys are on this call and would like to take advantage of this pricing, it's going to be 50% off of that bold pricing for, for the agents on this call. Again, my contact info is down here. I'm going to leave it at that. Awesome. Well, Andrew, I want to thank you for giving us your time today. Smart Financial has been a great partner of Craig Wiggins Agencies and also Craig Wiggins Coaching. For those of you that haven't registered for the August 11th and 12th event in Las Vegas, just as an FYI, we're over 60 percent sold out already and it's over four months away or just under four months away we'll be sold out within the next four to six weeks or so we would love to have you as as a guest you and as many team members as you can bring to vegas uh, so check this check us out at craigwigginscoaching.com quick plug if you're not using cwc use my promo code joseph puckett j-o-s-e-p-h-p-u-c-k-e-t-t joseph puckett at craigwigginscoaching.com slash on demand to get CWC on demand for $29 a first month. See if it's a good fit for you and your agency. We would love to help you transform your agency. Andrew, thank you, man. You've presented a lot of helpful information. I look forward to getting this on the interwebs and on our platform so our <laughs> members can view it for many years to come. Thank you all so much. Now we got to get back to work, y'all. We got policies to write and people to protect and goals to hit. Pick up that phone, call somebody, quote somebody, close somebody. Train your team to do the same and let's grow. All right. Y'all keep growing. We'll see you next time. Thanks so Thanks, much. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you.